beautiful people welcome and welcome back again to yet another interesting vlog <laughs> you guys you're highly welcome to my channel okay if it's your first time here my name is linda chineye i'm a mom of three beautiful kids based in india for now okay so right now guys i'm about to prepare this this is my second time of preparing it the first time i prepare it my kids love it they've been asking for it it's been long and i didn't vlog that time because it's my first time trial okay <laughs> but this time around i'm going to show you guys each process i'm going to do okay what am i even talking about the name lentis momoi you know if you're from my country which i come from nigeria we use beans in doing more wine but this is a twist and you're doing lentils and you guys know that lentils is full of protein lentils has more protein yes, than yes. beans correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section okay it's very rich in protein and healthy for children so right now i'm going to show you guys how to prepare lentils more wine all right each step i'm going to whatever i'm putting i'll be telling you guys one after the other all right this is my first time of doing it on my channel okay I'm already preparing the ingredients. I'll just show you the ingredient. It's a, another twist of making momo. You can also make your momo like this. It will come out to come out so good. Okay. So without wasting much of your time, let the vlog begin. Okay. Don't forget to give the video thumbs up. Let's start. Okay. This is going to be our lunch for today. So make lunch with me. Let's go, guys. This is the lentils. Let me bring it out where the sun is not disturbing. So I soak it for about uh, uh, 15 minutes. You need to soak it for some time. So this is it. I soak it for some time. Mama, remove your hand. So this is the lentils. Indians, they call it dal. Mama, remove your hand. Hello. Now. Mama, remove your hand. Hello. Hmm. Please don't spoil my video, okay? I like it. You Mom? like it. I know you Mom, like it. The... So Indians, they call it dal. This is dal, okay? why we call it lentils in english name is called lentils so you have to soak it after soaking it let's move over to the next step so you guys this is what you have the lentils inside you have uh, chili and onion you have to add it water so that it will blend together add water add water add water so let's blend okay guys this is how smooth your momoi paste should be okay so you guys this is the main twist this is a combination of red bell pepper tomato onion and instead of blending it with your um paste like the uh, lentil paste or the bean paste this is the twist you add all the ingredients here you know when you add everything the taste it gives is so so good add your salt seasoning cube almost everything you need in making the momoi okay this is a twist of it all right so all the ingredients are in instead of adding it raw raw there you just make it a little uh sauce make a little sauce with this bell pepper chili chili that is the pepper and all kind of pepper you add your fish inside here you guys trust me if you add fish here it's bring the taste of the the flavor of this thing so i have i i, I love adding crayfish a lot so I blend the crayfish i divide the crayfish into two so i pour some into the sauce okay and i reserve some for the uh pouring it in the paste okay so add all the fish you want to add and stir it this is so good try this method your kids will ask for more everyone will ask for more they won't even know that this is lentis momoi they will think it's the normal momoi you use okay all right i'll talk to you guys in case you're new don't forget to give thumbs up all right give the video thumbs up and keep on watching so i do I, I guess i have to use voiceover to complete everything here okay so this is me adding the rest of the gray fish like i said i divided it into two i added everything so i just combine in combine it together and i add the the tomato paste i fried a little okay you can still skip this method if you don't want but this try this method you're going to enjoy your mama so so much so just watch and enjoy <laughs> i hope you enjoy this vlog okay all right so let me just um, finish uh dishing it out and stirring it and i'll talk to you guys later on so you guys don't forget to adjust the consistency of your mom why because here i guess my mine my, my was so thick i needed to adjust it with little 
uh, water so don't uh, uh, forget to adjust yours okay i'm calling it momo this is not momo yet <laughs> this is the paste so i was i keep on adding the sauce gradually and here i discovered that the bowl i was using is so small to mix everything because and um, okay don't forget to add granite oil before i go back to the gist i was saying you have to add granite oil to it okay to make it a little soft and more uh, moist okay so here the the thing i was using the bowl i was using was so small i just discovered i thought i was making for a family of five and i discovered that the bowl was so small i needed to transfer it uh, to another bowl so that the thing will mix because if it didn't mix well some side will be salty some side will be uh, chilly and it won't be so good if one side is not uh, having the proper ingredient do you get so uh, go according to your bowl okay i hope you enjoyed this recipe if you're not a nigerian try this if you're an indian i'm sharing you with you uh you guys my country food because most indians they will ask me what do you guys usually eat what do you guys usually eat and uh, i usually answer a lot of questions from indians they thought i don't know what they are thinking what to usually eat but this is one of our food in case you're not in nigerian okay so i'm just trying to dish them out this is the bowl i'm going to dish out i'm going to share with you a tip okay as you're seeing this i'm going to share with you a tip you're going to watch out for if you're using a bowl like this okay so i keep on adding the sauce because i had a lot of sauce i needed to make it inside so i mean a lot and lots of socks inside so i'll share one tips with you if you're using a bowl okay just keep on watching all right so you guys um since we made this once in a while because people will think oh you're using this plastic good is it good for you yes it is see uh, you should watch out for in your plastic bowl go to your kitchen as i'm as i'm talking to you right now check below it if you see number five you will see number five if you do not see number five throw away that plastic number five number four number two they are good for fires they are good for flames they are good plastics you can use for your food but see number seven six any other number is very bad for your health so that's the tip i want to share with you i learned this and i decided to share with you guys here so go to your kitchen right now check the bowl the plastic bowls you're using for food for your anything and check it if they are written number five it is very very safe and okay so we do this once in a while in case most people will be saying oh you're using plastic to cook it it's okay so you can use plastic or leaf but here we don't have leaf uh, uh plantain leaf which we, we rarely get here huh here it's not village now <laughs> so you can get it or you can also use um uh, stainless I don't know about stainless i've never tried or oh, foil you can use foil okay i've used foil before but i prefer this plastic place since i learned that thing okay all right i'll see you guys later am i seeing you guys later okay the next clip okay so you dip in warm water warm water i usually start my own with warm water and place it all uh place in the pot comfortably in the pot okay after placing it then you cover it all right now i'll talk to you guys later on okay guys look at that let me show you Beans cake. This is called beans cake. See? Wow. Mm. Fantastic, guys. Come on, order your own. See? Fantastic.
Oh, guys, just look at this. Oh, God. Do this for your family. They will ask for more. Like, my son is the one that reminded me, Mom, it's been long we had this thing after they ate the first time. So, I want to share with you also that the vegetable I added, see how moist it is. That's with the help of the vegetable oil. So, if you add it, it will help it not to be sticky, sticky on the plate. I know most people don't know this. But you guys, if you're a Nigerian, what are you going to be eating this with? For us, we ate with pap okay you can use with rice you can as a side dish okay i'll see you guys in my next clip enjoy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good morning, guys. Let's have some oatmeal. This is our oatmeal. Yum, yum, yum. My join us. This is my type of oatmeal. This is how I have. Yum, yum, yum. Come and join me. So rich. Hey guys, welcome back again. So you guys, we were coming back the next day, a uh, continuation of the vlog, okay? And this is what we usually do, not every time, not every day, but once in a while, you know? You see that sugar cane there, oh my God. Have you ever tested sugar cane juice? Share with me in the comment section, because uh, last time I used to have uh, la uh, sugar cane, the main sugar cane, not the juice, was the root. I usually have it back then at home, okay? So we are here waiting patiently for the sugar cane juice. You guys, if you taste this sugar cane, oh my God. It's so natural, so tasty. I don't I lack what to describe it. So this is what we usually do once in a while because it's not common in my side, the place we see it. And please don't, also don't mind about the hygiene. Everything is... Uh, well prepared. So this is my kids now having the sugar cane. We really, really enjoy having the sugar cane juice. And it tastes so, so good. Okay. So we are just coming back. I decided to share this with you and ask, have you tasted sugar cane juice before? Or have you seen like this? Because uh, from junction to junction, they usually have uh, where they used to get the sugar cane done. So we got it, um, the sugar cane and we're just having it it was so good eh hmm. anyway hear our voice okay hear the kids say something mm. how, how do you say just give them so That's it all. Oh, we are basically going home after enjoying our sugar cane juice. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So you guys, I hope you enjoy watching this vlog. And uh, if you're new here, my name is Linda Chineye. Please don't uh, leave without subscribing, okay? Join our beautiful family. Give the video thumbs up. And I'll be seeing you guys in my next one, okay? Have a nice day. Peace out to you all.